an average of all three digit terms in the arithmetic progression 38, 55, 72, etc. 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 It's plus 17, plus 17, plus 17. I'm gonna call this as 34 plus 4, 55 plus 4, 72 plus sorry, 68 plus 4, 102 plus 4 will be our first term. And so how do we find our last term? We take 999 9, 9, divided by 17. See what is remaining. It goes 5 times 85. 149 cannot go 9 times no it cannot it go 8 times 136 remaining is 13 so one third that is that is 17 into 58 is 986 we've got that much so the last term here is going to be 986 plus 4 the first term is 106 the last term is 990 we have a bunch of terms in between. How many terms are there in between? We can find that this is 58th term. This is 17 into 6. 58 minus 5 is 53 terms are there. To be honest, we don't need all of that. Because we want to find only the average of this term. Sum of all of these terms are going to be n by 2 into first term plus last term. Average of all of this it would be n by 2, the first term plus last term, divided by n. I don't need to find n. It's first term plus last term by 2. Average of first term and last term is average of all the terms. And so, the exam, I looked at this question and said, look, I want to do a sum of all terms. And I found out this big and gigantic number. I could have just simplified it and bypassed it. So, our answer is 990 plus 106 by 2. 990 plus 106, 6, 9, 1096, which is 548 piece of cake we know the first term we know the last term sum of the first and last term divided by two is average of all n terms that's all we need to find